Kenichiwa. Hope everyone's good. Just get a short time. Come down the woods again. I've started work properly now, so I haven't got much time for the woods. But I'm going to be making some time next week. I'm also going to be looking for a new spot as well. The last spot that I had went to, I said I was going to do a hammock camp in. I went there yesterday and it was full of kids, so I want to find another spot. There's one spot that I was at a few years ago, which would be perfect, might still be. The last time I was there though, they were cutting some of the trees up. I think they were doing some forestry work and they were hammering signs on the trees for hunters. Like reminding them of conservation and things like that, so I don't know if that's now private land and it's just leased out to hunters or what, but if I've got time tomorrow I'll go down and I might film it. But uh, today I wasn't actually planning on making a video so I haven't got a tripod or anything with us. I've brought the full little kit with us. I'm going to try a bivy camp after I've done the hammock camp. I'm still planning that, I'm just going to do it in a different spot. So I'll do the hammock camp with the haversack first and then after that I want to do another camp and try out uh, the bivy bag. So I've got it all set up here. Anyway, I thought I'd just do a little mock cycle ride with all the gear and see how comfortable it is. So I've got the Ludwig, the new Thermarest ridge rest. I cut two inches off of each side to reduce it all by four inches so it wouldn't stick out too much and the wool blanket and I'm going to see how well the wool blanket fits inside of the bivy bag because I've got the Dutch bivy bag with us and obviously that's designed for a sleeping bag so I'm going to see if I can fit the uh, wool blanket in there and see how comfortable it is and I'm going to set up the uh, zilt ban as well because I'm planning on having that over the bivy bag but uh, anyway, like I say, I didn't bother bringing a tripod with us. I'm not actually planning on filming anything. But I thought I would just do a real quick video showing something I found that was super cool, which I'm going to try out. And that thing I found is quite possibly is the manliest logger I've ever seen. Fax Premium Viking Beer. Uh, 1000 ml, 5%. It's got some cool designs. Reminds us of a uh, hobgoblin, which I can't drink anymore. I can't drink beer, but I found out I can drink lager, so when I drink beer, it affects us pretty badly. I end up having uh, slight respiratory problems. I can feel my throat close up a little bit. And I spend the whole next day gasping for air a little bit. So it turns out I'm a little bit allergic to beer, but I'm not allergic to lager for some reason. I don't think there's much difference between beer and lager, but I seem to be perfectly fine with that. So I figured I would try out this manly beer and uh, we'll see what it's like. First alcoholic beverage in nearly two years. Skull. It's really good. So that's the main shelter set up. I just got the Zeltbahn or Zeltborn, however you meant to say it. I'm really glad I brought it out just to try it out and See it because I've actually brought the wrong one by mistake. I've got two of these Zeltbands, and on the other one, I usually get some cordage and I tie loops around here for the tent pegs because I don't like driving tent pegs through these rivets. Also, what I usually do is I always bring two different types. So I've got these steel types. 
and I always bring the MSO groundhogs just for different grounds makes sense to me anyway to mix and match but like I say I forgot to tie the grommets off on this one so I couldn't use the MSO groundhogs I didn't have enough of these to stick through here so I've had to improvise with holes I haven't brought any real cordage with us apart from these guides so I couldn't do that here but uh, that's why I always like to test things out before I actually go camping so I remember to bring the other one next time or I'll just tie off grommet the uh, grommets on this one as well anyway I've got that set up I've got the ridge rest in fits perfectly well and you've got a nice little gap to keep the rain off you and that's the bivy bag set up it's just the Dutch bivy I've also got the outer part of the not with us but I've got uh, the outer part of the Czechoslovakian three-piece uh, bedroll which is also a bivy so I've got that as well and that one has a zip that goes all the way around so in hindsight it's also square on the bottom so in hindsight that one would have been better to bring for use with the wool blanket but like I say that's why I like to bring things out and do mock runs before I actually go camping because I haven't used this setup yet <laughs> so I will get the uh, wool blanket out and see if it fits in the this bivy like I say I'm got a tripod with us so I wasn't bothering to do any filming today I mainly just wanted to try out the beer and set this thing up So that's it, fully set up with the wool blanket and I'm not going to bullshit, I am going to be honest wool blanket does not work in this bivy bag as much as I would really like it to It's just a little too much of a snug fit to get the legs in under here I could get them in just it takes a, a fair bit of filling around in constant doing that sort of thing with your feet trying to work your way in but like I say baby bags are made for sleeping bags not wool blankets but the next time I will try the Czechoslovakian bag out and that should be good with the uh, wool blanket because that's designed to use the uh, wool, not wool, it's like a wool but that comes with the wool blanket built into it so that should be good for the wool blankets another thing I do is re lower the top down a little bit as well just for more coverage it's got these raised areas so you can stick any size strapping or webbing on or rope and it won't go anywhere obviously it'll flop around now because it's loose but once it's completely secure it stays and I completely forgot where I was going with this I got distracted because I'm having problems with this camera I press record and it shows it's recording but when I end record it doesn't save the video it only saves it as a photo for some reason so I don't know what's going on so I've been distracted and I've completely forgotten what point I was making showing this but in the last clip I pointed this out for some reason and I thought I would follow through with that so completely rambling on because I completely forgot where I was going with this anyway so I'll finish this off and head home before the rain comes we're getting some more clouds coming over just thought I'd do a real quick video showing that setup and this, like I say, I wasn't planning on doing any video, I just thought I would as a spontaneous thing, so completely unprepared, I haven't got a tripod or anything, uh, I'll get the hammock haversack, or the haversack hammock camp video out the way before I do the bivy bag 
video, which I'll do at a, a different spot. I might do the hammock video here. I can set it up in there and I'll do the bivy bag at the other place. I've still got the other place way over there, which is when I did the first hammock camp video of the year video a few weeks back. So I've got two options at the minute. I might have three, but we'll check out the old place. Maybe it's tomorrow and I might film that if I get out tomorrow. See what time I finish. But uh, anyway, I'm rambling on. So end the video now. Thanks for watching. Chana, hammock camping coming up. Maybe it's not next. I might do a video or two before then. But I will do video hammock camp. Have a sack hammock camp as my next camping video. So anyway, thanks for watching. Chana, and I'll finish this off. I've still got a ton left. It's taken us ages. It's my first drink in probably coming up to two years now. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, Chana.